What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back. No, welcome back. Welcome to Shadow of War. Shadow of War is the sequel to Shadow of Mordor, which is a game I very, very, very much enjoyed. Now, I've been playing this a lot. I'm currently level 21, which is pretty damn high. I'm about to start the mission that's going to finish this area of the game. My gear is pretty absurd uh, because of how many orcs I've killed and whatnot, and I'm just overall quite the character right now. So anyways, we're going to be heading on into... Oh my gosh, there's an Olog high behind me, and we're not going to deal with that right now. So... So, who do you fancy bringing along besides me? I actually don't know why this assault leader is not... Oh, I know why, because I actually uh, assigned him and then he betrayed me. So, I'm gonna compare you, you two. The Weapon Master and Longshot. Um, Beast Fodder, you're, that's about your only weakness, and you're pretty bad. So, I'm just, I'm gonna, you're gonna get to be here. So anyways, I did have a third one, and uh, I had, we were all ready to go, and then after I completed a mission, he attacked me, he decided to that he didn't want to be a part of the army, and he decided to betray me, so I ended up having to kill him. And then because he was one of the orcs that was like, uh, one of the ones that had the blood brother uh, uh, trait thing, which means so his blood brother came and attacked me. So anyways, we're gonna, um, we're gonna go with these three, and we're gonna be taking on the uh, Nernan Bastion. So we're gonna get us our first one of these. I decided not to do a full playthrough of this because I was debating on doing that. Um, I just I didn't know how it would how well it'd be received. But anyway, we're going to be doing the we're gonna be doing this, and I'm excited for this. This should be good because I've got a good group of captains on my side. And this is the first one in the game. I believe we have to do several of them. This guy's also two-headed. My black speech is a little rusty. Actually, I don't know a single word. Which is a pain in the ass. I really but like Bruce. To hazard a case, he said, We're all gonna die horribly. Yeah, my kind of black. Sometimes these cutscenes are a little weird. The frame rate wide. You focus on the defenders. Define focus. But like the actual cutscenes are in sync. Anyway, yeah. So we're gonna, we have to capture victory points, and we would have to fight war chiefs at each one, but I've already killed both the war chiefs that are in this place. All that's left are the captains. I'm gonna brutalize this dude, and we're gonna just, since y'all are stupid, and we'll come up and we'll do this. We're just gonna clear this. The, these guys out. Even though they're probably not, like, gonna do too much damage, they're just irritating to deal with. There we go. Wow, my guys are already on that other point. We gotta go over here. Oh, nice job, Siege Beasts. Oh, they're all dead. Alright. Interesting. Alright, let's get this. And brutalize somebody. And then I can just do this. And the point is mine. Ah, rip a gear this lot has. Maybe I'll pick up a sword for myself. I could use a new toothpick. <laughs> pick your teeth later. Right now we need to take the fort. Alright. Oh. Uh, you think you're gonna beat me after we just Okay, he was apparently dead. That's weird. Alright. Also, the Olog High are pretty cool because they can actually break the walls. Then I have the Siege Beast because I have three followers, so... It's pretty dope. I like this game a lot. It's, like, it's what was amazing about the first game. And then they added a, a much better story. So that's the difference between the two. I don't know why I'm running along the ground rather than doing the rooftops, but, you know. 
No biggie. Now, this is so much simpler than it normally would have been because I've already, like, obliterated the entire fortress. So much so there's, like, a, thir a fourth generation of captains in already. Sweet. My level 19 guy that we assigned, he's actually, like... He has the, I'm pretty sure he's one of the one of the guys who has the trait for that he's like uh enraged or oh, like he's scared of enraged captain captains. Business. And once this one's yours, you'll need a new overlord. I'd like to throw my hat in that ring. Yeah, you'd probably be a bit potential is nearly unlimited. And now you're gonna keep some slaves? Okay, that's fine. I just wanted to use my kill streak. Oh, wow, he's one shot to dead. Okay. We'll leave you. Oh. Bruce definitely does. Uh, seems to agree with me. He doesn't want any of them to live. Alright. Let's do this. Actually, before you kill them all, Bruce, I'm going to get. I'm going to. Suck. Actually, I can't forget I can do that from anybody. So we'll just do that. So that I'm at full health. I don't know why that happened. Um, sure. Cheap and unlocked. Headhunter. Alright. The game this game also looks like freaking gorgeous. This fault? Belongs to the Bright Lord now. Oh, boss. Can't hear anything in this. <laughs> rat bag. Are we rat, rat bag, bag the coward? So much to catch up on. Where do I start? How about your death? What? You mean get hit by the hammer? It's a headache at most. I mean, you want to kill a Nuruk, you gotta take the head clean off. Does the job every time. Well, most of the time, I think. I don't know. Never really been sure about that. Oh, you saved your life at the end of the first game. Allow Took a hit from the... The Witch King. Rose. Welcome. The man is a friend. The Ulog... Watch him. Make sure he don't do anything suspicious, like, you know, kill me. How did you end up here? Well, I was captured by some slavers, actually. They weren't all slavers. Two were cannibals, one was a necromancer. Fun bunch. <laughs> they captured this old log. Oh, he was in rough shape. We were cage mates until I sprung us out of there. Old log jumps out, arms go a flying, and then here we are, the best of friends. Muronam Kirinu Rachanuk. Oh, right. I should tell him about the fort thing. Thank you for that. It's kind of a long story. Ranger killed the old overlord. Now it's ours. Ranger? Ranger? Oh, yeah. I named them after you. I'm honored. <laughs> it's been nice catching up in a woman. Bright Lord of Majors came by to tell you that the fort's ours now. Right, Lord. Well, you are welcome to it, Bright Lord. Me and Ranger are done with the Overlord game. So oh, I right, see he's hey, got a scar on his head. Feed your followers, train your followers, make sure you don't get killed by your followers. Yeah, it's a right bother. <laughs> oh, well, your worries are over. Because now I'm over. No. Uh-uh. No, 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 no. Not you. Anybody but you. Whatever you need. Me and Ranger have got you covered. Wait, Ranger, Ranger. Uh, it's a little confusing, isn't it? But the point is, Bruce cannot be overlooked. Zupaki. I'm not working for these two. I'll tell you that right now. That works out perfectly. Because we got no current openings for half of oh, these squabbling fools. Rat and they have their uses. You bear must us choose our overlord with care. Maybe you read my mind. I am a mighty, vicious, what? Olog's friend. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, then. So... A new power in Mordor! You! In the days ahead, we will fight other battles and claim other fortresses! But starting today, Mordor belongs to you! Mordor belongs to the Bright Lord! It's really off-putting some, for some reason that the speaking audio in these cutscenes are way behind. Captured a fortress. Overlord was defeated, even though we didn't actually have to fight him. Alright, we got the whole region, which is funny because the headquarters is on an island. You have conquered Nernan. Alright, near level 22. Promote to Overlord. Hold it. Actually, I have a lot of them. I don't... Who the heck are you? Esedar Fleshburner. Hogrish the Shredder. Neither of these guys were mine. Zuka the Armorer. I think I'm gonna make him Overlord, probably. I remember that he was, I think, yeah, I, I, I get the, yeah, this is the guy that I was saying had, um, was afraid of enraged enemies, but otherwise he's really good. Like, he's got a, he's really strong, but, so, you know what? You've been my bodyguard for a while, so you get to be our new, uh, our new leader. The new overlord of this area. War chiefs are promoted. There are two hunters. Are they my guys? Because they don't look like them. Now we have a foothold in Mordor. We should upgrade our defenses before Sauron attempts to reclaim what he has lost. And there are more fortresses to conquer. And the Palantir is back in Minas Morgul. We must choose our next move carefully. Yes, yeah, so if you haven't watched anyone play this game or played the game yourself, there'll be a lot of things you didn't understand about what Celebrimbor just said. But anyways, something I really like about this game is the customization. So you see this armor? This was not the first armor that I had. I will show you the armor that I had. This was the default armor. I forgot it actually shows you, but this is the default armor, which is decent looking and, and all, but after a while these get really good and you can upgrade their weapons because the weapons that are not basic have uh, a specific thing that g it gives you that you can unlock the only one I have it unlocked for is this guy here um, I just need to recruit an orc that is level 20 or higher which I haven't done yet and the feral tribe is here in Nernan so I need to recruit someone then I can up, di up this which will um, uh, let's see. This will allow. This will reduces the coal mount cooldown. You can call mounts. I didn't even know that. But if I get a better cloak, I'm probably gonna upgrade it. Anyway, uh, yeah. So I think we'll do this one conquest mission because if I remember correctly, this is just something different. And wasn't there a monument, or did that get destroyed? I did that. These I already beat it. No, we fought here. Yes. Okay, conquest. Forts of Sharkburrs and Nurnan is yours. Yeah, this is the first battle of the war for Mordor, and more fortresses remain to be captured. Almost forgot to tell you one last thing. Now that you have my fort, it will eventually come under attack. Which you already know since you attacked it once yourself. Nicely done, by the way. But the thing is, you don't always need to be on the defense. You have scouts who can sniff out enemy forts, so you can go on the attack yourself. You know what they say, the best offense is a good offense. <laughs> and don't worry about running low on orcs. If you ever need new recruits, you go talk to a glob they call the Headhunter. He'll sort you out. He's gonna be crank. See, look at that. <laughs> Cut that off. Online conquest. Now you can roll a fortress, you can launch attacks against other players' fortresses. Start an online conquest mission to find a player to attack. If you succeed, you can improve your rank and earn valuable rewards. Be sure to bolster your own defenses. Powerful war chiefs and siege upgrades will strengthen your fortress. Other players can affect your orcs, so your fortresses in game, but defending well against their attacks can improve your rank. Alright. That's actually really cool. 
Alright, so what is this next quest? Because otherwise I might end this video here. So we have the fight pits. I think we'll go do that and we'll watch a fight. Uh, because it'll pit one of my guys. Yeah, this is the only one I have that I actually need to do. But I need to recruit a level 20 orc. Which there aren't any that aren't under my control at the moment. Actually, I could be lying about that. I should probably just check first. Holy crap, you were level 23. I'm not high enough to recruit him yet. What's funny is Zoon the Dismembered was the was actually a war chief. So who are you? You're Hogwarts the Shredder and Luga the Obvious. Why would you promote them? Why would you not have Bruise as one of them? Or, let's see, where's the other guy that's mine? This guy, Schoon Weapon Master. Because I didn't capture either of these guys. Anyway, then we got our big boy up here. He's level 20. So we have a captain that's lower than him. That's crazy. Alright, well anyways, we'll do the the fight pits quest and then I'll probably just end this video here. Wait, just this far to the main camp there are guys that aren't on my side? Whatever, we'll take them both. Goodbye. Alright, every fortress is a training gun. There's nowhere better for an orc to hone his steals in the fight pits. Also, there's no one knows more than Bruce. Okay. Ah, the fight pits. You know, this is more than just a place to pop some orcs' heads off. Although that is uh, something I cannot recommend enough. But the fight pits are where you can test your followers. See what happens when they have a go at some other geezer. They're always bringing in tough orcs to fight. And if your fella survives, he'll be stronger for the experience. If he snuffs it, well, the one who done it in has what it takes. So there's a potential new recruit. And however it shakes out, your boys will love watching the show. Nothing boosts morale up like bodies going down. Okay. This is... Um, no, you're not one of my war chiefs, but he just obliterated him. As a dark flesh burner. No, I mean, he was only level 6, so that makes sense. See? Wasn't that a good time? Grog was drunk, laughs were had, blood was shed, and Grog was drunk. <laughs> ah, there's no fight like a pit fight. Okay, mission completed. Now that you control the region, you send your followers to fight. Followers to survive increase the level. It can never be, it can never exceed your own. Mine's 21, so it's pretty good for now. The heck, that was a weird noise. Anyway, we have an, we have two new regions: Gorgoroth and Saragost. Interesting. No, I don't want to fast travel there. I wanted to just skip the cutscene. Now you unlock the order. You can do challenges. So, Avenger of Minas Mogul. Daily challenge: Avenger and Fallen players of Minas Morgul. Um. Oh, these give you gold. Ooh, that's awesome, actually, because that's a lot of. That's a lot of... Go the gold stuff is... Well, not just the gold stuff, but the gold is... What is going on? Fight for me. I can just do this. There's literally like two... Two orc riders compared... Oh! That's my bodyguard right now. I just find that kind of funny. How the... How that... How did that Karagor not kill that dude? That Karagor is about to die. Sorry. And his amount of... Now he's just getting a bullet. Okay. We did it. I don't know why there were just two random character riders in the middle of the pit, but... What do you have to say about that? I'm gonna just... just, just... I'll miss you, Ranger. <laughs> okay. And a boom. That entire party, none of them get, none getting away. All right, send your follower in the fight pits to win power and glory. If he survives, one time reward plus one skill point. All right, so let's select a follower. Um, Nazu the hacker. Why are you called hack? Oh, well, like hacking, like isn't it? You're terrible, mortally flammable. I can't send any of these guys up here. You know what? Let's give As Adar Fleshburner another shot. He obliterated his last opponent, so he's probably pretty bored. This is where your journey ends. Muzu the Militant. Let more see the strength of my devotion to the Dark Lord. That's incorrect, because you are a so soldier of the, the Bright Lord. Yeah. 
What are you guys doing? Fight! Okay. These de these random defenders are doing more damage than my captain is. My captain's not taking much, though. If I could, like, zoom out, that'd be great. I can't actually control these guys, by the way, if you're wondering. I don't know if I could have actually checked and seen what he... what it was weaknesses were, but it looks like my... <laughs> Wait, what is he... <laughs> He's not what to do with that. Um, yo, that's, that's awesome. Oh, wow. That's it. Wow, he got five levels from that. That's crazy. Alright, is it our flush burner? Sweet, and I got a skill point for that. I am almost at another skill point. I'm like 400 away from getting another, too. Nice. I can freeze a guy by vaulting over him. Sick. Okay. Well, we'll check out this thing and I'll show you the difference because these guys aren't don't have any sort of boost. And I can trade them in for Mirian. You know what? While we're here, we can actually open up some loot boxes or whatever. Whatever they're called. And I'll get some of that gold stuff and I can do more of them. So I have 11 garrison followers, which I don't know what you can what you use them for, but I have them. I have a couple commons, one legendary, and the rest of them are epics. Cuz I just opened the the default ones because I don't have any of the gold and I think you have to pay for that gold. So I've just been using the silver. So I've just been buying the silver war chest. So Let's do it. The guy on the left looks like Bruce, not just because he's an Olog. Archaeus Iron Skin. Poisonous Machine Tank. Morally vulnerable to stealth and terrified of poison. So, as soon as you go into battle, are you literally terrified because your weapon is, is poison? Ubu Ukbuk the Anvil. Vulnerable to stealth. Okay, so at least you're not one O code. This is Grant's Follower a Savage Game. Okay. And we can do another war chest, because why not? I have enough, another, I have enough for a couple of them. I can also buy some rune, rune chests. So this is Grant's follower in Olog gang. Ur hacking the deep seer. Terrified of burning and terrified of stealth. You're just you're you're, you're bad. Hork dead eye. Flammable, vulnerable to stealth and beast water. Great. You guys are just dandy. All right, let's see. I, I I hate how you can only buy one to five. Like it doesn't make any sense. I mean, I'd have enough to do that, so we're gonna buy all five. Why not? So we got. Look at that. So we got an a, a rare here. Ooh, that's actually really good. Nice. So let's open the next chest. I got a a, a rare ring. A rare ring. Replenish one else shot when dominating an enemy. That's awesome. And it's even awesomer if it will replace what I have. This is the exact same one that I just got, so I have two of them now. Alright, a common thing. Alright, so this is executed beast. Allied beast take 50% less damage. Now, see, that's a lot better than the one that I have that's an epic. So this is uh, just a default, so... Sweet. Oh, I didn't mean to do that yet. I wanted to finish opening these chests. Because you can get some good gear from these. Alright, this is a dagger. So this is a uh, quick throw to hit a poison enemy and applies poison. Not bad. That's just a, a, a normal bow. And the final chest. Alright, another rare cloak. Execute an archer. Not bad. Alright, so I'm going to be ending this here, so I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did like, appreciate it. Definitely let me know if you want to see more of this game, because I, lo I love playing this game. I've played a lot. That's a lot of the reason that you haven't had daily videos on Storm Sil uh, Sacred Gold. So, I just haven't gotten around to playing it, because I really haven't wanted to, in all honesty. So we can uh, just kill all... We can destroy all of these. That's not bad, actually. That legendary that I just randomly have... I've already gotten more Mirian back than I think 
I might have had. That's crazy. Yeah, this is way better. Not bad. Alright, so I got a lot of really good items from using my Mary in there. So I really hope you all enjoyed it. Did like, appreciate it. And yeah, again, let me know if you want to see more of this game because I love playing it. Thanks so much for watching. I'll talk to you all later.